please feel free to have a look at the guest book. The guest book is related to the coffin. Leave yourself a message in there, say goodbye, say what you would, whatever you would like to say. If it's actually dead? But I'm not sure whether England's dead or not. We're going to figure that out over the course of the evening in relation to the performers we've got. So, without further ado, let's introduce one of my absolute favourite poets, Mr. Jason Smith. Thank you. Alright, this is my response. St. George's flag, feeling fear. I'd see hateful faces, Dr. Martin, skinheads and tight drawn laces. I'd see placards and hear shouts of, England is ours! And blatant lean faces, go back to where you come from. Even though this is where my place is and where I belong. I used to walk into rural towns, take a look around. I'd see that red cross on white and then turn about face in fright of being run down or run out into flight for retreat or fights for life. I used to look on the St. George flag and see ignorance, racists, secret Nazis and fascists. But now, now I see, a, I see multifaceted of races from far from places gathered united under an idealism shouting, NOT IN OUR NAME! Now I see idealism representing my father and his father, winning Russian with bright plans and working man's hands, Aiming to pave land with blood, sweat and tears and make England's cobbles gleam beyond unseen years. Now I see and hear a train carriage clickety clack along mainline trickety tracks as red watches, firefighter teams, hurtles fast, blue light moving shadows cast. I see buses wandering hilly highways and b-rolls byways whilst looking out the windows, pondering intricacies seen through sidewalks cracks that rise up in tongues talking of England's past. But we cannot jump into the river of time as it flows on, gone, swiftly fast. I see bus stops, lollipops, corner shots, chased after ice cream vans and gym jams, coal fires, pop, rockets, bangers, mash, and splashes of daddy sauce while having a giraffe. Barber stops, kick the cans, knock on ones, BBC, put mushy peas, <laughs> marmite on toast. We know bit a little about iniquity of justice. Just, nice, bounces more than bitter, dripping, jam and toast. And in this, I boast. I am the essence of multiculture. English, Jamaican, Italian, a whole blend of colour. And I am England. Well, if this corporate coffin is an emblem of people's ideals, then the questions, questions or answers are real realities of what you stand tall or fought for, or maybe the answers are in the past of what forefathers fought for. Either way, England cannot die, although in dead eyes true idealists are disguised by obfuscating life. But I am England and very much alive in hearts and minds. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was lovely. So I'll just give you a little bit more of information about why we're here this evening. This is Carolyn. If everyone would like to say hi to Carolyn. Let's talk! Let's talk! Don't say a few words. Okay. I'll take that one as a note then. So she's made this beautiful work here, Coffin, and that this was made a few years back in response to seeing the EDL and Unite Against Fascism fighting in the streets of Warsaw. Is that correct? Yeah. And she started to think about the question whether England is still alive, whether England is dead, and if we were at a funeral for England, what would we we'd be saying goodbye to? So we've had a couple of other works, that are, a couple of visual works that are responding to this. Natalie, would you be able to? Well, Jim, would you be able to get yeah, Natalie's a little bit of writing down so I can read it? I ain't quite tall enough to reach it. Close <laughs> oh. <laughs> So if everyone would just like to come around here, just come by the toilet, just everyone stand by the toilet. Everyone, come on. 
every single one of you, I'm going to take a note for an answer. You can see it <laughs> so I'm going to read a few words that Natalie has written about her work. If I can get past this very last bit. I'm sorry, Natalie, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Is England dead? Dotted around the nation are ex-industrial cities that many would argue are dead. Closed and derelict are once great mines, steelworks and potlanks, with nothing of note to fill their place. Dead is a sense of community nostalgically remembered by my parents' generation and before. Gone is the steadfast knowledge of a job that once attained was guaranteed for life. But what I find is that England's ability to laugh in the face of tragedy, find irony in the humourless and retain re resilience beyond measure is a unique trait that will never die. This series of photographs you're about to view are, are our viewing now. <laughs> Have a look at them. View them. Compare the external politics of the world with the subtle occurrences of the inside space to highlight the British attitude that refuses to be killed. So if you can see, look closely, you'll see here we have the premises that have moved and the empty space that is left behind. We've got... <laughs> Just Martin. <laughs> Get in there. Just getting really, really, really close. Here, we have a very, very, very old antique fireplace, fire bucket, sorry, that is now being used as a bin by Natalie's dad, I believe. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Next to the old shutdown mine. Next to the old shutdown mine, just here. <laughs> the middle one, we've got an old pot bank, and my mother used to work all her life in pot banks that will now collect Easter eggs, so she's got a collection of six consumerist mugs. Wow, <laughs> that's turning back on the system, isn't it? She's annoying. <laughs> but if everyone would like to take a minute to look at those, enjoy them, enjoy the humour in them. And who, who shall we have next? Nick, are you ready? Yeah, I'll do, yeah. Yeah? So ladies and